To graph this function, it is useful to first put it into slope intercept form, which I can do by getting the y by itself. Getting the y by itself in this particular case is going to involve dividing everything by 3. So this will give me y is equal to 2 over 3x plus 2. Now I want to leave this 2 over 3 as a ratio because in slope intercept form it's going to represent the slope and slope is a ratio specifically of rise to run. As you may recall the slope intercept form is y equals mx plus b and what is written as b in this case 2 represents the y-intercept. So I'm going to graph the point 0, 2 on this graph. And the m represents slope. So in this case, I have a 2 over 3 slope. That means to get from one point to the next, I need to go up 1, 2, and over 1, 2, 3 before drawing my next point. And I can get another by going up another 2 and over another 3. I can do this ad infinitum, but I'm running out of room there. So I can also go down 2 and back 3 to find more points. Down 2 and back 3 is equivalent. And I can get one more of these in if I go down another 2 and back 1, 2, 3. And that does give me enough points to make a line. So I put a line as straight as I can through all these points. Arrows on the end indicate that it goes on forever. And remember what this represents. Any ordered pair on this line, any xy value, is going to make a true solution to my original equation. There you have it. I put it into slope-intercept form, interpreted the different parts in slope-intercept form, and made my graph. Thank you.